Hello everyone, in today's video we shall discuss how can we check and prevent duplication for customer and vendor by using match codes and message control. So let's understand what are match codes. So now uh, we can check and prevent duplication for vendors by using these match codes to check whether the customer vendor already exists. Match codes are used to access vendor accounts without specifying the account number. Uh, for example, if you do not know the account number, you can search for account via other specifications such as name or the city. So these specifications are basically the match codes that uh, SAP system defines. Uh, when defining the match code, you specify which field of master records can be used for search. Okay, then I have mentioned the T codes OBB2 and OBB3. And in the similar way, the message control also works. So we'll do everything practically. Uh, the pathway and everything I'll show you in the SAP Easy Access screen through SAP screen. So uh, I have already logged into my SAP. Now for match codes and message control, we need to go to IMG screens. I will just type the T code SPRO for same, then reference IMG. We are here on financial accounting. Under this, we have accounts receivable and accounts payable. So people, everything goes parallelly as for customer and vendor. So the match codes configurations as well as for the message control, everything is same. We shall be covering both of them. Let's see the customer accounts first. Under this, we go to master data. In here, we have match codes. Now, so these are the fields of master records which can be used for such a search with uh, defining match codes okay so let's click on to it then we have the table is cross line that's okay and we have a field that are already defined that is name one is for name the name two is for name two and then this ORT01 is for city similarly we have other fields like you can see there are a number of fields that are available so we can use those fields as match codes in order to uh, find the duplications or search the duplicated vendors or customers respectively. So this is important as user should not use wrong vendor or customer accounts at the time of entries or to check duplication to prevent such blunders. Fine, uh, as these are predefined and already exist in the SAP system, we are not adding it, but a FI consultant must know the pathway, must know what is match codes and how it is used. Similarly, uh, like we are in customer accounts in similar way, the vendor accounts also have the match codes under same pathway, like vendor accounts, master data, then then we have match codes under this check and search the fields for vendor match codes. And they have same kind of fields. Fine. The next thing we need to discuss is message control. So for message control, we go to we are in same master data but we go to preparations for creating customer master data in this we have change message control for customer master data let's click it and there we have some predefined message controls uh, in order to maintain the check on the duplications 
Now, just understand, these are some predefined message text. Now, in case we want the message to be published, so we have few options. Let's, let's discuss the options. Now, switch off the message in case we do not want any message to be displayed. Then we'll just uh, put dash in case we want a note on window for to keep us remind that uh, the same thing is there in another vendor or customer. Then we'll just put on I that is note in windows. So we'll get a message. Uh, so what messages uh, or what controls that we currently exist, we can discuss that. So we have vendor found with same address check. So in case uh, the two vendors have same address, we'll just have, uh, we'll just uh, we'll get a message on our window while uh, creating another business partner or vendor or customer for same. Right, similarly, we have for customer. In case we want to add up some new message control for users, then we can just click on to the new entries, find our messages. There are a number of messages available. Uh, like a few vendors that are marked for deletion. And we are again creating those vendors then there will be a check on it. Then we have uh, same for customers. So there are so many uh, messages uh, like we have same uh, VAT registration or GST registration. Um, we are creating the same vendor with the same these legal numbers or registration numbers then in the, uh, those cases we'll get a message on our screen while creating it okay the message type would be okay first we need to enter the messages anyways i have explained you what are the two type of messages i and dash i is for uh, Eyes for note in window and dashes switch off messages. All right. So these are two very simple topics, but are of utmost relevance. So I thought of making video for same. So similarly, like we have seen the customer. Then in similar way, the vendor works. So under master data, for preparations for creating vendor master data, we have changed message control under vendor master data also. Normally, uh, these topics are not discussed because they are configured by SAP and they are complementary. We get it in every system, but uh, in case our uh, user need some other specifications or requirement, we need to know all these configurations. So that's all for today. Thank you all for listening. Have a really good day.